everyone, my name is Maggie Kane. I'm the founder and executive director of A Place at the Table, Raleigh's first pay what you can restaurant. More importantly, your neighbors right down the street from you. So we are a pay what you can restaurant. What that means is if you have not been, we look and feel like a normal restaurant. When you walk in, you see fun photos on the wall, you hear really good music, you smell really awesome food. Um, it's only until you get up to the register where things look a little different. You start to see some explainer signs, people with volunteer name tags, you see the suggested pricing model. All of our prices on the menu, which you can see right behind us, are suggested. So what that means is people who come in to eat with us can pay that suggested price. They can pay more and pay it for for someone else who can't afford their meal. They can pay less because we know some weeks are harder than others and all you can afford is less. They can pay by volunteering with us or they can pay by using a place card. So a place card looks and feels like a normal credit card that any of us would use in line, right? Um, and it is handed out to many of our nonprofit partners across Raleigh, um, including churches like yourselves, where people can go and get this card, come back and get a dignified meal of choice with us. Our mission is community and good food for all regardless of means. Um, and there's a reason why communities first. We use good food as a tool towards to, towards building community in this space. Whether it is eating together over that good food or whether it's volunteering together, um, we are creating that community that we all need in our lives. Um, that community that I know you all feel at the gathering at Edenton. Um, it, we feel it here in this space every day. Um, we are definitely fighting food and security and y'all are helping us do that. Um, and we are also fighting community insecurity, as I said, that need to belong and that need to feel a part of something. Um, we provide anywhere from 100 to 150 meals a day to people in our community who are experiencing food insecurity. And y'all are helping us do that. Um, through this gift of this almsgiving, through the Lenten season, y'all have helped us provide those 100 to 150 meals a day and provide that place for so many people who need that place. We are so grateful. We are so grateful for the support you have given us from January of 2018 and continue to give us now, five years later, that you continue to give us in this Lenten season. We are just I, just beyond, beyond, as I said, grateful. I've said it three times already, but we mean it. Um, from y'all coming to dine with us, y'all coming to volunteer with us, you just showing up to be present with us and you showing up to listen to me talk on camera for three minutes. Um, we are really, really grateful and, and just could not do it without support um, from congregations, from people like you. So thank you. Thank you for providing so many meals to folks who really need it every single day and providing a place to, to for me, for you, and so many other people. We are that place. Please come and see us. I know now that you've seen this video, you are going to come after church and eat with us, um, but we are, we are that place for you, so please come. Get a good meal, um, and, and we just really will help to see you. Um, thank you so much again, and, and be well.